Can I say um, um the same story I said in the other class? Who is this, Sri Lakshmi? Yes. Yes, you can. Let me see where. I'll just go according to the list. Okay. Okay. Uh, Saroshna, did you want to say you there? Hare Krishna, Mataji. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mataji, in the per group, I have. Ashu. <laughs> On the group, I have shared the. Uh, one second. Huh? You can play. <laughs> yeah, on the group, this uh, so Google Sheet is also done, Mataji. And uh, against the names, I have put up a, a asterisk sign also, which tells that only those students are still yet to do it. So we have Aksh wait, we have Akshita. Rasika have no Rasika is done. Okay. Pranav is done. Yeah. So uh, Akshita, Ishan, and then Garima. Garima, are you there? Yes, Mataji. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so Ishan, are you ready? Mataji, can I do? You have not done Rasika, uh, Radhika Rasika. You did not do it? We did. Okay, then Actually, you know what? Also, my name was on the list. Yes, yes, Advait, you are also there, but we will go according to the list, okay? So, uh, Mataji, Akshita, are you there? Mataji, yes, yes, Ramachandra, when, when can I do it? Ramachandra, I do not see your name on the list, Vita. You have not lit, written your name on Mataji, the list. Mataji, I thought you put it on the list. Prathamesh, I have put up. Ramachandra, let me put up Ramachandra. Yeah, uh, Mataji, I think we can start with Akshita. Akshita, are you there on call? Yes, Mataji. Is Sri Lakshmi on the list? Yes, Sri Lakshmi is there on the list, okay? Now, uh, Saraj Nandini Mataji is there. Hey, Krishna. Yes, Akshita. Yes, Mataji, I'll put you on the spotlight. Let me see if you are there. Yeah. Are we doing uh, like usual, Mataji, uh, or we just start off? Yes, Mataji, you can. Yeah, the kid uh, Akshita will spotlight Akshita once she starts, and then when she say tells the story, then you can talk to her. Okay, sure. Thank you all very much uh, for joining. Today we will start our uh, story narration. Uh, we are starting with uh, Akshita. Uh, before that, we can begin with our prayers as usual. Om Ajnana Timiranda Sri Krishna Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare. Thank you, kids, for reciting a lot. Yeah, Mataji, I'm sending you the list on the teachers group so okay. that you can know which students will go after whom. And if suppose any student is not there, then you can skip to the another person. Okay. I saw Garima's name also. Yeah, so now, yeah, now is Akshita. Okay. Uh, one second, I'll just go with the list so that you know exactly. So it's Gar. Oh, Garima was there. Okay, Akshita or Garima. Akshita was the first on the list. So, Akshita, Garima, Ishan. Okay. Anshul is not doing today. He's doing tomorrow. Okay. I'll write against his name, Mataji. Yeah, I'll send you again. I'll send you again on the group. Yeah, sure. Okay, Akshita, you can start your uh, presentation now. Okay. Hare Krishna, everyone. First of all, I'd like to... um. Thanks, Sita Priti Mataji, for um, giving me this opportunity to uh, say a um, story. So, um, I, um, I'll be saying two stories because both of them are very short. So, um, uh, uh, one day, 
um, Mother Yashoda was um, packing a box for Srimati Radharani because Srimati Radharani uh, makes a breakfast for Krishna every day. So um, then uh, when Mother Yashoda, um, while she was packing the bag, Krishna uh, saw Mother Yashoda packing and then she, he, was, he went to Mother Yashoda and um, he asked Mother Yashoda what she was doing and then Mother Yashoda said, this is for Radharani. So, uh, then after that, um, Krishna, he planned to do some mischief. So, when Mother Yashoda left the room for some time, um, Krishna, he quickly called his cowherd friends and um, with, the cowherd friend, with his cowherd friend's help, um, they um, all took everything out of the uh, box, like all the gifts out of the box. And uh, then Krishna sat inside the box. And then a few, like a few minutes later, Akrura came, no, Akrura, um, Abhimanyu came and um, uh, Abhimanyu, Abhimanyu is Radharani's um, husband. So then when Abhimanyu came, Mother Yashoda gave the box to Abhimanyu and um, Mother Yashoda told um, Abhimanyu um, to tell Radharani this instruction that um, uh, whatever the content is, to accept it happily. So then after that, um, uh, Abhimanyu was carrying it. While he was carrying it, um, uh, it, would have, it was very heavy for him. Be and then when... Um, he was carrying it and it was, he thought it was very heavy. Um, he thought, oh, maybe Mother Yashoda packs um, so many gifts for Radharani. Um, Radharani will be very happy and very pleased with me. So then after that, when um, Abhimanyu went home, he gave the box to Radharani. And um, um, then um, after that, um, Abhimanyu um, gave, I'm um, told Radharani the instruction um, that Mother Shada said to um, whatever the content is to accept it happily. So then after that, um, um, Abhimanyu went outside for some time. So then um, 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 Radharani with the gopis, they um, opened the box and then Krishna jumped out of the box and um, then they were all surprised that how come Krishna was in the box? So then after that, um, Radharani uh, remembered Mother Yashoda's um, in instruction like um, that um, whatever the content is to accept it happily. So then the gopis started to laugh and Radharani started to laugh and then they had a nice time. So that's the end of the first story. So then the second one is that um, one day um, Abhimanyu went out of town for some time and um, then um, when Krishna got to know that, Krishna, he disguised himself as Abhimanyu and then he went to Radharani's house. So, um, when, when um, uh, he, was, he was with Radharani for some time and then um, Krishna got to, um, Krishna who was dressed up as Abhimanyu, he got to know that um, Abhimanyu was coming back. Um, on the same day, he was coming back. So then after that, um, Krishna, he went to Jatila who is Ab Abhimanyu's mother. So um, he went to Jatila and told uh, Jatila that, um, oh, oh, look, Krishna's coming. He's coming, um, he's coming dressed up as um, me. So then Jatila was like, oh, really, this Krishna, I'll never leave him now. I'll beat him up nicely. So then after that, Jatila went to um, uh, Abhimanyu, the real Abhimanyu, and started to beat him up nicely. And then after that, um, Abhimanyu tried to um, was crying out and tried to tell um, his mother Jatila that no, it's me. I'm the real Abhimanyu, your son. So then after uh, the, then Jatila still didn't listen, and then he kept she kept on beating him up. So um, that's all I have. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Akshita. Such sweet pastimes about uh, Krishna and Radharani and Abhimanyu. Um, some of the things that are very rarely heard. So thank you very much for choosing those pastimes and narrating it so beautifully. What did you like in the story? Well, uh, I like basically the funny parts when um, uh, 
when like for the first one when uh Krishna popped out and like that was kind of funny and the other one when um um Jatila started to um meet up Abhimanyu yeah right so such sweet pastimes he has with his devotees sometimes it looks like he is uh, naughty but um they are very relishable especially when uh, you are a resident of Vrindavan and you are in into those pastimes you have Krishna is so sweet thank you so much for narrating such sweet pastimes okay so let's move on to the next uh, person was Garima Garima are you ready with your story <laughs> Hare Krishna, my name is Garima and I am going to tell the story of Trina Varta in the sky with Krishna. So, one day, Krishna, Mother Yashoda was playing with Krishna and Krishna got so heavy in her arms. So Mother Yashoda went inside and to work. All of a sudden, it became so windy and the demon Trinavarta easily picked Krishna up into the sky and he was on his shoulders and Meanwhile, the Yashoda and the gopis could not, could not find Krishna. So they fell down crying that I can't find Krishna. So in, uh, in meanwhile, Trinavarta flew so high in the sky and no one could see anything in Vrindavan. So Krishna was riding on you know, Trinavarta's shoulder and then now he now so he holded his neck and Trinavarta was choking and he wanted to throw Krishna off, no, but Krishna would not let go. And he, his eyes popped out and then he, no, he was saying, leave me child, oh child, leave me. And then he started to fall down to the ground. He was falling, 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 falling. And then he smashed his body on the ground and he died. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Garima. Very beautiful narration of how uh, Trinavrata tried to kill Krishna, but he got killed uh, finally. So what model or what part do you like uh, from this story? I, uh, for the model, I, uh, Krishna can be uh, so light, lighter than a grass, but he can be no, so heavy, no, like heavier than the sky. And what I loved in the story is that no, Krishna, no, uh, could, Krishna was uh, choking the uh, Trina Vartas. Uh, yeah, that's so true. Thank you so much. It's uh, so so true, the fact that uh, Krishna can be lighter than the lightest and heavier than the heaviest. So in that sense, Trinavrata, when he came very confident, but uh, he did not expect that Krishna can become so heavy because he looks like a small baby. So he did not expect. And all of a sudden, uh, as a surprise, Krishna became heavy and he started uh, 
killing Trinavrata. So thank you very much for very beautifully narrating that story. Uh, we'll move on Mataji. to Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare yes. Krishna Mataji. I'm Mandira Lamisani Dahal. My daughter is now uh, four and a half years. I don't think this uh, meeting is for my daughter is. Uh, I just want to know. I'm so sorry. Yeah, for yeah, no problem. That is from 5.30 uh, p.m. CST. Okay, so that is from 5.30 to uh, 6.10 or 6.15. And oh, this is for the older age group. This is for I, the age group. Oh, okay. I didn't know the information. Uh, so how can I get those information? Uh, my friend told me that the, my, my daughter is group meeting is start 7.15 to 8.15. That's why I, <laughs> I was connected. Yes, uh, I think uh, we can connect you in the Damodar group that is called as Damodar. This is Govinda group. So if we, if your number, uh, if we add your number in the Damodar group, you will get all the messages. So you can, you can probably give pass on your number. Yeah, Mataji, in the chat they can send, and in the chat we. Uh, the group, Mataji. We'll put the link of the group. Yes, Mataji. Please, can you put the link of Damodar group in the chat? Are you bored, Mataji? Mandira Mataji, in the chat, if you look at the chat over here, okay. you can send the uh, link and then you can click the link and you can join the Damodar group. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. So let's move on to the next kid. Uh, is Ishan ready? Ishan, are you there? Ishan. Hare Krishna. My name is Hare Krishna. I am okay. sorry. Okay. 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 I'll just unmute others. Yeah. Hey Krishna. My name is Ishan. I am seven years old and I am going to tell you the Trinavad story. Not long after Krishna's first birthday, Kans uh, sent Trinavad to a uh, Kill Krishna, um, and uh, and Trinavart came uh, as a tornado, and and the the dust there was like a dusty storm, and then Trinavart picked Krishna up and flew very very high in the sky, um, and then uh, then then Krishna was uh, was uh, was getting very, very, very heavier uh, and was getting very heavy and he was getting really so heavy that Trinavart felt like he was carrying a mountain. The, the force was so big that he started falling down and yeah. fell, sm he smacked on a stone and died. Hare Krishna. Then all the, the gopis and everyone from Vrindavan came and was afraid that Krishna was worried if Krishna was alive or not. And he and they found him uh, uh, on Trinavarta and they were all very happy. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Ishan. Very sweet narration of Trinavarta's story. I'm so happy all of you are choosing pastimes of Krishna as uh, Janmashtami just uh, um, came this week and I wanted to ask you Ishan what made you choose this story what did you like from it uh, I like uh, when uh, uh, when Krishna was getting heavier and heavier and Trinavart was falling down <laughs> yeah so true yeah so that is a very nice uh, story of how uh, Demons are so uh, confident, overconfident, but Krishna can do any magic and uh, he can kill them in a second if he wants. But thank you so much uh, for narrating so sweetly. And uh, so let's move on to the next uh, kid in the list uh, who is Mishti. Mishti, are you ready? I don't see Mishti in the group, Mataji. So I'm... So you can read the next, I think. Okay. So we'll wait if uh, Mishti comes a little later, she can narrate. The next uh, kid is Samskriti. Samskriti, are you ready? Yes, Mataji. Yes, 
Yes, Mataji. Go ahead, Samskriti. You can start narrating. Samskriti, can you get, go a little bit behind because we want to see the gopi dots which you are wearing. Okay. Gopi dots are not seen. You're looking so beautiful and so was Akshita also. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hari bol. Carry on, beta. Hare Krishna Mataji, my name is Samskriti. I am seven years old and today I'm going to tell you the story about Brahma Vimohana Lila. So, once upon a time, there was a messenger that came to Brahma. He said, oh, look at this little boy. His name is Krishna and he killed a big snake, um, Agasura. So Brahma said, okay, then let's go see him. So Brahma and his messenger went on the swan and, and saw Krishna. And Krishna and his friends were eating lunch. Brahma got jealous. Not because they were eating lunch together. It was because um, Krishna killed Agasura and Brahma did not. So Brahma had an idea. He told it to his messenger. The messenger said, oh, that is a very nice idea. So then when Krishna were, and his friends were eating lunch, Brahma stole the cows and took them to dreamland. So Krishna noticed that the cows were not there. He said, my dear friends, you guys eat while I go find the cows. When Krishna went to find the cows, in the meanwhile, Brahma came and took the um, Krishna's friends to dreamland. So when Krishna came back, he saw that his friends were gone. Then he found the feather of Brahma's swan. Then he saw, ah, now I know who took my friends and the cows. So then, um, Krishna manifested himself into his friends and the cows. So they went ha home happily. So then the next day when Krishna and his friends were playing on the hill, Brahma came and he saw that his friends were still there. He got confused. I'm the only creator. And I took all his friends to dreamland. What are they doing here? When Brahma went back to check um, his friends and the cows on dreamland, he would, they were still there. So then when Brahma returned, Krishna sent Brahmas from different, different universes. And they came. Brahma said, I thought I was the only creator. And who are all these Brahmas? And what is going on? So then when all the Brahmas came and paid their obeisances to Krishna, Brahma said to Krishna, my dear Lord, I thought I was the only creator and who are all these Brahmas? And then um, Krishna replied saying, my dear, Brahma, there are different um, Brahmas from different, different universes, and there are bigger universes than yours. Thank you, Mataji, for giving me this opportunity to say this story. Hi. Thank you, Samskriti. So nicely narrated and uh, uh, very expressive thank you so much for uh, sharing this story and uh, what did you like in this story anything uh, specific that made you choose this story i chose this story to like learn a lesson like to not be jealous very true thank you so much and uh, it also says uh, how the time is so different in different universes uh, when uh, the kids were in the brahma loka and they came back was already we are a uh, uh, very nice pastime to
Hare Krishna, I think Mataji's connection is a little bit down. Yeah, next is uh, right, Mataji. If I'm yeah, okay. Ithril, who is Ithril? Like, I just see Ithril's name, but is she by any other name over here on the group? Ithril is not there. Then Jagdish can go. Jagdish, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Ah. Hare Krishna, Jagdish. So you are ready with your story? Mm. I'm okay. still working on the end. You're working on the end? Okay. Yeah. I hope when you're telling the story, you'll be working on it. It's okay. very long. Yeah, okay. Carry on, Jagdish. You can be on video, okay? You can have your video on. Rajikara. Pika Ratika Rasika. Did you write my name I in think Mataji? He needs some time. That's what he's saying. Oh, is oh okay. Okay. Jagdish, okay. You want to go last? Okay. Lohit, do we have Lohit on call? Yeah, Lohit is here. Yeah, Jagdish, you can get ready, okay? Then we will have you at the end then. Lohit, very good, Lohit. You ready, Lohit? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Krishna. You can start. Kamsa wanted to kill Krishna. So See, if he he your. Uh, so he went to the demon Bhusna and he gave her information and she went to the village and to Krishna's village and then called some, like, she got some, like, some information more. She got some more information and then she collected some poison, poison milk from a snake and then she went, turned into a beautiful woman and returned to the village and then she went to Krishna's place. She fed Krishna the milk but nothing happened to Krishna and but she got so hurt by her when she was feeding milk for Krishna she got hurt and then she died. That's all. Thank you, Lohit. That was very nice, Nadi. The moral of the story is don't treat people or animals unnecessary. Thank you. Very nice uh, description Mataji? and model that you have given. Mataji? Yes. yes? I'm also going. I'm number 33. Aurav, did you, you, you did want not to narrate now? Monday. One second. One. Aurav, did you, say, you did not say the story on Monday, right? Oh, no. Oh, okay. So we are missing Aurav on the list. Yeah. One okay. second, Karthik. Okay. Let me just check for Aurav. Sorry, Mataji, to interrupt in between. There's I'll... a row number 33. Oh. I'm there. You are 33, Aurav, right? Yeah. After Jagadish is Aurav. After Aurav will be Karthik. Aurav, you can. Yes, Mataji. Aurav can go, Mataji. No, no. Okay, Mataji, my story is of Balaram killing Rukmi. So once, when Aniruddha, the grandson of Krishna, and Rojana, the grandson, um, the granddaughter of Rukmi, who was an enemy of Krishna, who had kidna kidnapped his sister Rukmini, when Aniruddha and Rojana the granddaughter and grandson of Krishna and Rukmi were going to marry. Then the king of Kalinga suggested that Rukmi play chess with Balaram so to take revenge because he knew that Balaram was not a very expert chess player. Balaram accepted the challenge. Rukmi challenged with 100 coins. Balaram lost. 1,000 and 10,000 also, he also lost. Then he challenged 
with a hundred thousand, but he won. But Rukmi tried to cheat him. He was saying, no, 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 he lost. This is unfair. Then he became even angrier. He's challenged with a hundred million coins, gold coins. And again, he won. And he, again, Balaram won again. And then Rukmi was again like, no, 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 this cannot happen. I won. Then a voice from the sky said that actually Balaram was the true winner. And Rukmi was just trying to cheat. And all this while, the king of Kalinga had been abusing Krishna and Balaram, taking advantage that Balaram had kept losing. And this all, and all, and because Rukmi was saying that that they may be, even though they may be expert at tending cows, they couldn't be expert at chess or shooting arrows on the battlefield. Then Balaram became so angry, he hit Rukmi on the head with his club and killed him. Then the king of Kalinga, fearful that he was going to be the next one killed, fled, but at the 10th step, he was caught and he was, and his, he was for, his feet were first gone and then he was dead again. Then the others were either killed or they ran away. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna, thank you, Aurav. That was beautiful narration about uh, Balaram killing Rukmi. And uh, what did you like from the story? What made you choose this story? Actually, it's a very funny story. My favorite part is that when Rukmi was like, no, 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 I won. And the, the voice from the sky was like, he act was telling that he actually won. Yeah, that's so true. So funny, but uh, very beautiful narration. Thank you so much, Aura. Let's move to the next kid. Kartik, are you ready, Kartik? Yes. Please go ahead. The Jindra was in the Dunya Maharaj. Oh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji, all glories to Srila Prabhupada Guru Maharaj. Thank you for this opportunity to let me talk about Gajendra Moksha. Gajendra, Gajendra was in the Dunya Maharaj in his previous life. He was a very good king and used to rule Pandaya at Pandaya Kingdom. He had a family at that time. Uh, one day he retired from his kingdom and left for the forest, putting his son in charge of the kingdom. He went to the forest to meditate on the Lord. And then Agasya Muni came with all his disciples to see Indradumya Maharaj. And then Indradumya Maharaj was in a flow of silence which means he should not talk or even make a sound. Agasya Muni was mad because he, Indra Dumya, did not greet him. And then Agasya Muni cursed Indra Dumya to be a elephant in his next life. Agasya um, Indra Dumya accepted his curse and then he became an elephant. He passed away and Unfortunately, fortunately, he became the elephant. He became the king of the elephants. One day, Gajendra. One hot day, Gajendra was very thirsty, and it was a really hot day that day. So they all had to walk several miles for water. And then 
they finally saw a lake with water. And then Gajendra went in the water to take a bath. And then there was a crocodile in that water. And that crocodile was foolish because he wanted all the water to himself. He did not share with anyone. And then when and then Gajendra and his family and his friends and relatives went there and was enjoying a bath. And then everybody went out and go, and then Gajendra was taking a bath and then the crocodile got leg of got the leg of Gajendra. And then and then he's the crocodile got his leg for thousands of years. None of them died. The elephant, Gajendra, became weaker and weaker because he was not a water animal. And crocodiles are one of the water animals. The Gajendra got weaker and weaker, while the crocodile got stronger and stronger. And then he... The crocodile got the leg of Gajendra for thousands of years. And then he remembered some names of Lord Vishnu and he began to recite them. And then Lord Vishnu came on his eagle chariot Garuda, which is the king of all eagles. And then he threw his chakra at the crocodile and cut the leg and cut the head off the crocodile. Gajendra did obeisances to the Lord and then they lived near the lake happily ever after. Thank you, Mataji. I drew Thank this you, Karthik. Very beautiful. I drew this picture about G Gajendra. Wow. So beautiful and so nice that you narrated the story and you're also showing the picture. Very beautiful, Karthik. And what did you like from the story? I like when the crocodile got the leg of Gajendra and then Lord Vishnu came and threw the chakra at the crocodile and cut the head off. Thank you so much. I also like this part very much that, you know, uh, even animals, when they call out to Krishna, Krishna comes and protects. So this is a very nice illustration, this story. Thank you so much for narrating this. Mataji. Yes. Mataji. I'm sorry. Mataji, this is Ramachandra. This is Prahlad. Can I say a story about... Um, about Mataji, this is Ramachandra. Can I say something to Karthik? Yes, Ramachandra, please go ahead. Prahlad will come according to the turn, okay? Yeah, Ramachandra, you can uh, go ahead. Karthik, the crocodile you were talking about, he was no crocodile. He was he got cursed just like in the Dim he, he got from cursed, a sage. Um, with, mm -hmm. from a sage. He was who in his previous life. So he got the legs of a, of a sage and the, the sage cursed him and he got the bird body of a crocodile. Thank you for telling that to me. Thank you. Thank you, Ramachandra, for adding that. And thank you. Very nice description and narration, Karthik. So let's move on to our next kid in the list, uh, which is Nyasha. Are you ready, Nyasha? Mataji and, and Prahlad, we have added you in the, uh, in the list. Okay, so I think you will be, it will be tomorrow, Prahlad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, hello, Mataji. I'm going to tell a story about um, Krishnaji and um, Draupadi, and I hope you enjoy. Draupadi lived in a forest with her husband, and she had a magic pup given to her by the god of the sun. The magic. Yasha, one second. Can you move a little far so we can see your face? We are not able to see you fully. Okay. Yes, you can go ahead. 
And the magic paw had a special power. It could make infinite food until the cook, which was Dwapadi, ate, and then it stopped making food. One day, Maharashi Durvasa came with his 100 students to Dwapadi's cottage and asked Dwapadi for some food. But Dwapadi just ate lunch, so there was no food left. And at the forest, there's not a lot of food. So Dabadi told them to go to the river and freshen up while she's making food. After they left, Dabadi started crying because she didn't know what to do. And if she didn't give them any food, they would be angry. And then Sri Krishna came and asked Dabadi what was wrong. And Dapati told her, him the story. Krishna said, um, can I see the pot? But Dapati said that there's nothing in the pot. What should I show you? But then Krishna said, there must be something in the pot. Let me see it. So Dapati showed Krishna the pot and there was one single grain of food. Krishna picked it up and ate it and burped. And all of a sudden, Dervasa and his students at, at the river felt full and not hungry anymore. And they thought, if we go to Dravati's house, then we'll have to eat more food. What should we do? So from the river, they ran away and they didn't come to Dravati's house. That's the end of the story. And the moral of the story is you should offer food to Krishna ji and not waste any food because yeah. Martha, do you have a question? Uh, Nyasha, did you want to complete the sentence? Okay, wait. yeah, so you shouldn't waste food because the food that you're wasting could fill someone else. Thank you so much, Nyasha. Who, uh, who was that who wanted to ask a question? Ramachandra. In the story, she said that um, I thought I, I heard the story from, um, from the, I read it from the book. And they said that um, Durvasa actually came to Duryodhana. And Duryodhana said that because he knows about Akshay Patra and said that, and knew that Draupadi already finished her lunch and told Durvasa to go. That's, I thought um, Durva, um, Dur Duryodhan told. Not just Durvasa coming to Oh, the that is true. I just didn't tell all the details. Okay. I was just trying to make sure. Yeah, that's true. I just didn't know all the details at the time. Wonderful, Nasya. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing this story. It's so nice to have you on the call. So next we have Balavrinda. Balavrinda? Aha, look at this, Gopi. <laughs> look at this beautiful Gopi. What are you going to say, Gopi? Huh? What, what are we, story are you going to say? Hare, Hare Krishna Mataji. Today I'm going to be saying the birth of Lord Krishna. Okay, go ahead. Once upon a time, Mother Earth um, um, was feeling sad because all around there were so many demons, and 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 she and she took a and she took a form of cow, and then um, Brahma took um, Mother Earth to the milk ocean. The the milk. The the milk ocean name was um Swetadi and they were Krishna Hare Krishna. They were chanting <laughs> they were chanting Pushajukta prayers then 
and then Lord Vishnu said in 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 Brahma's heart, he said that I'm going to. I'm going to come with the brother and the sister, um, Balram and, and, and Yoga Maya. My sister, um, Yoga Maya, and my brother, um, Balram. Okay. Well, now let's start. And, and kill? And, and kill the demons. And, and, and save the devotees. And, and I, will, I will, you go and take birth in Yadu dynasty. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. the demigods. All the demigods. Now let's start with the story. Okay. One, no, no. Kamsa, Kamsa took, um, Kamsa took um, uh, Vasudeva and Devaki to the marriage. And then Kamsa suddenly heard a stroke. In, in the golden chariot. In the golden chariot, everyone in the, in the, in the world world were very scared. The, the stroking voice from Yoga Maya um, in the sky came to Kamsa. Yoga Maya said that you evil Kamsa, the eight the eight born child will kill you. Then then Yoga Maya suddenly disappeared. Disappear. Then what happened? Kamsa got so angry. She she suddenly pulled the hair of Devaki, and then she want he want to kill Devaki. Then what happened? You know, Vasudeva was the truthful person. He can do he can, he does not tell lies. He, then Vasudeva tell to Kamsa that we will give you the child and you kill it. You kill it. Then Kamsa put Kamsa put put Devaki in Vasudeva. Parusa could give a key and Vasudeva in the in the jail. And then first baby born comes up, kill that baby. Comes up. Did not kill. Comes up, did not kill that baby. Then the second baby. Then Narada. Then Narada Muni um, will, um, take the lotus flower. Do you see the lotus flower? He, he. Yes, which is the first. He asked which is the first button. Then he got confused. Mm, so then he started. Then he started telling that kill, killing first, first, button. first baby. First baby. Mm. And then he killed. And then he killed the second baby. And then the third baby, fourth baby, sixth baby, fourth, fifth. Five, fifth baby. And then the second. Sixth baby. Sixth baby. Mm, seventh. And then seventh baby. Who is the seventh? Seventh baby was Balaram, and then Kamsa got much scared. What what was happened to that baby? That baby was he 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 transferred to yo yo no no Yoga Maya put um the Balaram in in uh, Rohini's tongue. Uh. Then he he's also called as Balaram. Uh, Ananta She she is also called as Ananta She. Rohini Mata is the is, is the mother of Palara. Okay. Then now comes up. Then now comes up much scared than than then later. Mm. Then later he got much scared because the eighth born child is going to come, born, come now. So comes is thinking on. Kamsa is thinking always when he's walking, when he's sleeping, eating, he was walking, he's thinking about everything about, then, Krishna. about Krishna. Then suddenly the beautiful came, beautiful yeah. day came. All of the birds were making nice sound and they were making nice beautiful sounds. And then there was a garland, sprinkles in the sky, the old homes in Mathura were decorated. Then Krishna appeared and then Kamsa got much... No, Krishna appeared. Krishna appeared Krishna. with a four-handed form. <sighs> and Vas Devaki and Vasudeva said to Krishna that Oh, you know, you know that Kamsa, Kamsa, Kamsa killed six babies. 
and I don't want him to kill you. And then Krishna said that, I only came here for killing the demons. Paritranaya sadhana vinashaya jadushkrita dharma samskapana daya sabbhavami yude yude then they pray to Lord Krishna that come to 200. Come to 200. Come to 200. Then Krishna became the baby and came to do And then what did he say? He said he carried he carried the he carried the, um, he carried the, he carried the um, basket and went to um, um, Gokul. He said he um and then the floated water want to come. Yamuna water want to touch Krishna. Did and you see Krishna over here? And also rain. Right? Uh, also rain <laughs> fall on Krishna. And then you know what is was this? Um, uh, Ananda Shesh came and touched Krishna. Like um, like umbrella. Then the, then the float started, uh, the water, the Yamuna water was going down for the, for the um, Vasudeva to go to the um, Gokul Mahavan. And, and then he transferred the um, boy to the um, Gokul Mahavan. Then, then he takes the girl to the is the jail. jail. So what happened? Kamsa, um, uh, the, ga the, the gatekeepers told to the Kamsa that, oh no, Krishna born. Then, then um, uh, Kamsa got down the bed and he was crying. Oh no, Krishna came. What should he do? Then he called all of the demons, Potena. No, first what happened? First the baby girl. He took the baby girl. He took the baby girl and put it I ups and down and he throw it. And what happened? And you. And Yoga Maya came and said that Krishna is already born. Krishna is already born and he's going to kill you. And then Yoga Maya disappeared. Then he got scared. Then he uh, he called all the demon servants and then he, they the, um, the Kamsa told the demons that the 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 bo Krishna kill all the newborn babies. Kill, kill all of the newborn babies. Then what happened in Gokul? Yes, Krishna's birthday was coming. Krishna's birthday was coming in Gokul Mahavad. Then uh, they were putting sprinkles on him, butter, all of the kahabad were um, spreading butter to them. They were having so much fun. They were sharing lotus flowers. They had so much fun. They were each of them were throwing butter on butter on the milk. That that key. Krishna ki Jai. Jai. Say thank you. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Vrinda. That was so nice, detailed description, long story. I can't. Krishna, please unmute yourself. Krishna, please unmute yourself. Wonderful. Bala Vrinda, the way you were explaining the story, it is so awesome, awesome, awesome. Very nice. You are enjoying the story, right? When you were saying Mataji, it. Mataji. Yes. Can I say something to Balavinda? Yes, who is it, Bita? Sivya. Yes, Sivya. One second. Let me pause Sivya. Okay. Okay, you are ready. Go ahead, go ahead, Sivya. Um, Mataji, as you said, my actions were very good. Um, I would like to say to Balavinda that she used very nice props and very nice um expressions in her story, like when Kamsa got really scared of Yoga Maya when she was saying that you're the eighth son, um, your your enemy has been born somewhere else. She was very nice. Thank you. Very nice, Sivya. This is what we are trying to inculcate in you all, you know, appreciating your fellow uh, uh, students, fellow classmates also, because this appreciation is really, really, really needed for everyone. Okay, and I really... Yes? 
I thought it was just the voice. And was it actually Yoga Maya? Yeah, it was Yoga Maya who said that. Oh, because mostly I just um, hear that a random voice came from the sky. Yeah, it was Yoga Maya who spoke it. it I thought it was Akashwani. Yeah, it was Yoga Maya who said that he yeah, has a telescale sound. The prophecy. I thought Akashwani, yeah, said it because like that's how yeah, my mother said it. it. Yeah, it's Akashwani or Celestial Voice or the Yoga Maya who... Yes, Mataji? No, it was Yoga Maya. We were just explaining the Balavrinda. Okay, thank you kids. Very nice presentations. And remember Mataji? tomorrow... Mataji? Yes? Um, like Balavrinda. Why did Akavashani? Um, Mataji, can I do? One second, no, uh, one second, okay? You know, I said the same story in Damo, the class. Okay, very nice, very nice. No worries if it is the same story. And what we will do is next kids can go tomorrow, okay? So, Akash, Mataji, can we start next tomorrow? Yes, but tomorrow, remember, the class is at 4.30 p.m. CST. Tell your parents to look at the WhatsApp group so that we can have everybody on the same page, okay? So that otherwise you will join at 6.15 and 6.15 the class will be finished. CST is 4.30 p.m. CST because Friday we have different timings. Everybody has Bhakti Vriksha, so we do it earlier, okay? Mataji. So, 5.30 EST. Can I tell yes. another story tomorrow? Uh, if, if all the other students are finished. Okay, Mataji. Mataji. Okay, Mataji, we can end the call because the Mataji. master will be coming. Mataji. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Vanchya Kalpa. Mataji. Tomorrow I go, right? Tomorrow I go, right, Mataji? Thank you.